What's going on YouTube? Welcome on into the nest. I hope you all are having a great day so far and in today's video we're going to be talking about the shop and phasmophobia, the new one that is, how to use it, how to navigate it, and what the different tabs are for, right? We're going to show you everything about this shop. It is new and it may look confusing at first but I promise you you'll get the hang of it very quickly once you watch this video. So nonetheless, let's hop in the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what you liked about the video as well down there in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, cool. I like it. Uh, let me head back over here, but let me see if I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate this menu as well. Oh, I in fact can. Okay, so just left and right can navigate through. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So I press right and I go back to this main screen here. Okay. And then what if I go to the right? Let's see. Oh, wow. So this is really in depth here. Okay. This is interesting. So this seems to be the shop where you can buy all of your gear at. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's click on, let's go top to bottom and let's explore the shop here. Interesting. Okay. So this is in fact the screen that you can buy all of your ghost hunting equipment at. In this first tab, you'll see here, this is the shop you can buy all your equipment here at any single tier and just as a side note each tier of equipment say you have a flashlight tier one tier two to tier three they're all going to be the same price whether it's a tier one flashlight or a tier three flashlight let's dive into the shop tab at the very top here a little bit more huh okay pretty intuitive i like it so let's see dots projector i wonder what this sign is right here so that symbol represents how many of those items that you actually have in your storage. This is not how many items are in the truck, but how many you have in storage that you've already purchased and are available for you to move into the actual truck itself. Huh, okay, sweet. So Dots Projector, that's what this item is. Okay, yep, there it is, right? The 14 we have in storage. And then this is the price, $65. And just like he said, yeah, it doesn't change depending on which tier of the actual equipment you select. That's pretty cool. And it seems like it pulls up this option screen up here where it's going to show you uh, various different things it looks like. Okay, so we have properties. Okay, so some of them are, have a gold background and some of them have that kind of grayed out background. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so the gold background means it's a pro for you. It means it's a positive. It's something that's going to benefit you in game seven meter range right okay it has a wide spotlight okay and then this grayed out background okay so it's electronic that must mean something about the actual ghost hunting itself i wonder let's see he'll probably dive into that a little bit later okay interesting let's see okay so up here it'll actually show you your name what level you are as well as what prestige you are and also it's going to show you your money that you actually have how much money you have that's pretty neat okay so if we go down here and buy one it should subtract money from there right and increase the amount that we have actually put in our storage so now we have 15 dots projectors okay so that makes sense that's pretty cool and you can actually sell some of the equipment too for almost half the price if you wanted to sell some so we can gain a little bit of money and sell that back interesting but now i'm kind of curious as to what this means right here it says main equipment main equipment interesting 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 okay so that's correct this in fact here is the main equipment section of this screen now when they say main equipment the developers mean that the main equipment is going to be your main ghost hunting equipment that you're going to actually get evidence by using now in addition to this they include a bare bones flashlight for you to use so with this main equipment, you will get one piece of each of the main equipment by default at the start of the match. So you technically don't need to buy any of the main equipment before you can play your first match of Phasmophobia. You get one of those each at the start of each and every single match given to you for free. Huh, okay, that's pretty cool. So they actually set you up so that way you can get the ghost right on your first match time in phasmophobia that's awesome they at least give you a chance to get it right and they give you one free piece of each main equipment on the start of your match now that's pretty cool but i also noticed that there's a second section down here that says optional equipment i wonder what that is okay so we have crucifix headgear incense wow we have a lot of good stuff here i wonder what all this stuff does igniter motion sensor photo camera Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, but optional equipment, what does that mean? 
So the optional equipment section of this main menu is just equipment that is not necessary for you to actually get the ghost right. This optional equipment is of course optional and it actually benefits you greatly if you have the money to buy some of this optional equipment, such as crucifixes and other various things. Huh, okay, sweet. I'm gonna have to check out some of those optional equipment. Uh, I think that's pretty much it though for this shop page. I think I wanna learn a little bit more about the equipment manager. Let's see, equipment manager, okay. So, oh, so this is where you can actually purchase and upgrade your actual equipment. So you can purchase those upgrades to upgrade them from tier two to tier three and etc. Nice, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I notice here it actually changes the symbol as well, which I guess represents tier three, okay. And then it also says up here that I can add things to the truck from here. So let's see, if I click plus and it shows that up as my equipment, then that must mean if I go back to this, then it'll show the equipment that I added there. Okay, so I added a DOS projector let's try that out with a video camera let's go and plus uh let's go ahead and add this with the plus symbol we'll just add all of them we'll add all of them so we've added three now let's go verify so these are in the truck so i know that before i start my match i am in fact going in with three video cameras that i have added so that's really really useful i like that a lot so that's 100% correct. The equipment manager section of the shop menu is solely used for adding things to the truck individually, as well as purchasing new equipment and purchasing tier upgrades of that said equipment. Now, as you saw there, I have everything unlocked, but if you were a new player, some of these will be locked at a certain level, whether it be level 12, or level 39 and all the way up to level 90. So make sure you check those upgrades out and each of those upgrades will come with a hefty price, but I promise you it's worth it because those tier two and tier three equipment, man, they do wonders during your investigation area. It is something to strive for upgrading to. Okay, interesting. So that looks like everything for the equipment manager tab. I'm actually really excited to kind of dive in to see what some of these upgrades can do. Let's go down to quick loadouts and let's see what this is all about. Okay, so we have a loadout section here with the name of the equipment, the tier. Oh, that's cool, you could select them. Okay, so you could select which tier of which specific equipment you wanna bring in and it tells you how much you have owned right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then it even tells you the truck here. So it seems like whatever I add over, so if I add in, let's say three flashlights and one more ghost riding book, It'll show it there, but now will it show it in the truck? It in fact does. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now it actually reflects what tier of equipment I put in. That's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I like that. So that's one way to add it into the truck as well. And it is a quick loadout screen and it is faster. So I like that a lot. And it looks like you can customize some of these loadouts as well. So if, if I want all tier two equipment, right? I can just minus everything and then go click plus one and now I'm going in with all tier two equipment as long as I have that unlocked so that's pretty pretty cool and then if I want to add everything in it looks like that's pretty cool as well I can just kind of click that plus button go back to the truck page and now I have all equipment in as long as I've purchased that equipment that's pretty cool okay I like this a lot this is really 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 honestly efficient and then I can create multiple custom loadouts and I can click here and it looks like I can rename this. Okay, so let's go YouTube. Let's just type in YouTube. Okay, so now I've named that loadout. Interesting, okay. Now, that looks like it's almost it, but I think we have a few more tabs to kind of check out here. So I can reset this loadout here and it'll completely delete everything off. So say we add a bunch of stuff and say this is our loadout. If I reset this, it'll completely erase everything and, and clean. Okay, okay, so now I have a completely clean slate for this loadout slot here, for this load. Okay, nice. And then if I click enable, so I have everything in, let's see, let's see. So this loadout is empty, right? But if I click enable loadout, this will actually cost nothing because I don't have any equipment in except the bare bones equipment. Okay, enable zero. So, okay, perfect. So it didn't cost me any money, of course, since now we're going to the truck with just the basics that's already provided to us. So, okay, so that's pretty interesting and I like that. But now if I click on this loadout that is preset here, 
to all equipment at tier three, right? If I click enable loadout, it's gonna enabling this loader will purchase any missing equipment and automatically add them to the truck. Interesting. Full restock cost was be twenty one hundred dollars, and the consumable restock cost would be one hundred eighty five dollars. I wonder what consumable means. Interesting. Okay, but it doesn't cost me anything since I already have all that equipment. So if I click enable, it'll add everything to the truck. So this is super freaking useful, and I'm actually really excited to dive in and explore this a little bit more but you can actually set multiple loadouts depending on if you have one players two players or whatever the case may be that's pretty cool so that's right the quick loadout screen is a great tool to use and it's where you're going to be spending a lot of your time when you're at the main menu here right the quick loadout screen is where you can fast and efficiently add in your loadout into the truck without having to fiddle around and add each individual pieces of equipment from your actual equipment tab there so super useful but i think that we should actually start diving in to some of this consumable equipment that we just mentioned let's check some of it out okay so earlier i saw that one of these pieces of equipment which one was it i think it was the firelight which just looks like a candle uh, i saw something that said consumable there it is okay so it has a gray background which means it's actually going to be a negative right it's going to be something that's going to work against you in game in regards to its usability so it says it's consumable but what does that mean right i would imagine right when you light the candle it starts burning down and once it's gone you can't really use it anymore right so that's very true the candle is one of six optional equipments that you have that is a consumable item so the moment that you use a lighter on that candle and it starts to burn it has now been consumed and you have to buy another one from the shop even though even if you only let it burn for about a second or two it is then consumed at that point in time and you have to buy another one even if you get the ghost right again it is one of six optional pieces of consumable equipment that once you use it and you actually interact with it that's it you gotta go and get another one huh okay that makes sense i guess if you burn it that does kind of make sense right let's see okay you have a few more options here for the firelight or the candle that's pretty cool and you get a lantern on this one that's pretty sweet i like that a lot okay so let's go ahead and dive into our next one i think the other one that i saw was the igniter or the matchbox okay so we have a lighter here interesting and this is in fact consumable so this is our second piece of optional consumable equipment okay seems pretty self-explanatory a lighter okay so use the lighter to light things such as candles and whatnot interesting okay we're gonna keep that in mind let's go down to the next one here oh uh, let's see is the photo camera consumable no it's not because again that i guess that makes sense right that's that is a piece of actual equipment right that's not really consumable let's go down to sandy medication Okay, so this one is a consumable. So this looks like it's gonna be our third consumable equipment, it looks like. Let's kind of read about this, interesting. Okay, so this is a consumable, okay. So that there is the sanity medication. And again, I have guides on all these pieces of equipment which will be linked down below. But for the sanity medication, it is a consumable and it is a one-time use. Once you use one bottle of these sanity pills, that is it, they're done, you gotta go buy another one. Hence why it's a consumable, right? You, you use the contents in the bottle, they're gone at that point, which means it's a consumable. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hmm, let's see what else we got here. Sound sensor, no, that looks like an actual piece of equipment, something that's, okay, pretty dense object, so that's probably not a consumable. Uh, let's go salt, let's see. It is a consumable, okay. So that makes sense, right? When you pour salt out of the bottle, right? You can't really put the salt back in. So it is a consumable at that point. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Uh, let's see, incense sticks. This is a consumable as well. Look at that. Okay, so that looks like that's gonna be our five out of six consumable equipment that we have uh, here, it looks like. And this is consumable, okay, interesting. So that there is the smudge stick arguably known in phasmophobia as one of the most valuable if not the most valuable piece of consumable gear that you can bring in now you have to pair it with a lighter in your inventory which we will get into a little bit later on to use this right but once you use that smudge stick and it burns down because you lit it with a lighter it is gone it is now gone you have to get another one and buy another one from the shop right it is a consumable item that has been consumed by 
anything, whether it be the ghost or the player, it has been consumed. Okay, interesting. The incense stick or the smudge stick. Okay, we're gonna have to learn a little bit about more about kind of what that is a little bit later on. He said he mentioned that he had a few guides. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out in the description and kind of see what those guides are so I can actually learn about some of these equipment. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think the crucifix was one he mentioned. This is one that he actually mentioned was a consumable. So this is our last consumable item that we have to go over. So the crucifix, right? And uh, okay, so the crucifix can be held or placed to stop the ghost from initiating a single attack. Okay, so that makes sense. If the ghost initiates attack and this crucifix blocks that attack, right? I would imagine it would get used. It would be consumed. So that's what makes that a consumable item. That makes sense. Okay. So that seems to be our last piece of consumable equipment we have. And then if we go down here, we have a coming soon screen. I wonder what that is. Looks like some clothes. I think that maybe we can customize our characters in the future. So that would be pretty cool. Okay. So I think I'm fully prepared on how to use the shop and how to navigate the shop now. Okay. Good to know. I like it. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed, and most importantly, I hope you learned something, because if you didn't, I'm not doing my job correctly on this video. But nonetheless, make sure you drop a like, hit me with that subscribe button, baby. It helps out the channel quite a bit, and I hope to see y'all in the next video.